What's up, everybody? We are back with another YouTube video for you all. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. So we definitely appreciate all the love that we've been getting. Um, welcome if you're new. My name is Brittany. This is Josh. And we make videos about things. So um, <laughs> without further ado, this week's video is going to be on the 10 things that we wish that we had known before we got to Aviano. Um, just kind of useful things that will help make your transition a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Um, Number one. So the first thing is learning to speak Italian. Learning to speak Italian goes a long way, especially for the Italians who are here. And they see that you want to be a part of the culture uh, and they're willing to help you out. But a lot of times what we'll do is just type something to Google Translate, listen to it on the audio, and then practice saying it so you kind of learn the language as you go. Yeah, definitely. It's just kind of like, you know, being nice. Just like in the States, like when you're like nice to somebody that's more helpful, just trying to speak to someone in their language when you're in their country goes a long way. Number two, save, 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 save. Money. Can't stress it enough. We saved $10,000 and it still wasn't enough. Save between if you have to get cars, housing deposits, realtor fees, which are a thing, like everybody paint is fees. upset about them, um, but it's a thing. Paint fees, like he said, um, pots, pans, little things that you didn't know that you needed, things that you weren't able to bring with you, all of it adds up really, really fast. Yeah. We blew through the 10 that we saved really quickly. Yeah. Save, save, save. I mean, you do get a lot of it back, but sometimes you need the money up front and you, you gotta have it or you might miss out on that house or whatever it is that you're trying to get. Save y'all. Third thing. Employment for spouses. I'm gonna let her take over for this one. Um. So honestly, it's just to get you out of the house, to get you to do something, it's a lot easier, obviously, if you don't have children. Um, to, you know, get the whole employment thing, but you can kind of get a little stir crazy being in the house all day, especially when you're in a country where you don't know anybody and you can't really go anywhere right now. Um, so get a job, get something because once you're in NAF, which is like the employment system, it's really easy to get other jobs once you're already in, but you got to get in first. Um, usajobs.gov is where I found my job. I was really lucky. I found employment probably within like my first month of being here. Um, but I super suggest it, even if it's just part-time, just to get you out of the house and break the monotony of your day. If you are my spouse, get a job. People have lots of side hustles too, which are amazing, and I applaud every single person that has one, but getting a job where you have to go somewhere makes a difference. Yeah, get you out the house, you, you meet friends, you, you get a little bit of money on the side, like, it's cool, but a lot of times it's really not about the money. It's really about stimulating your mind and getting out of the house. Absolutely, especially when your spouse works. Like if your spouse works security forces, they work really long hours. If they're like in like the mechanic um, division, they work really long, different, difficult hours. And it can be like, dang, I want to spend time with my hubby or my spouse, but you can't because they're tired. This gives you something else to do so that you don't like hyper focus on the time you don't get to spend with them. Number four um learning to drive stick so i knew how to drive stick before i got here she did it so right now i'm in the process of teaching her like while i'm driving i'm asking her like basically having her tell me how to drive stick and then um whenever the roads are calm i'll let her drive so she can kind of get comfortable but if you can learn stateside or if you can go to enterprise and like rent a stick shift car or something like that or you know somebody just learn stateside and that'd be one less thing that you have to worry about when you get here honestly i wish i had i really wish that i had learned stateside because in addition to learning here you're on unfamiliar roads and you're way more confident driving when you already know where you're going right right so just if you can if it's an option learn to drive stick here also because manual cars are much cheaper mm -hmm. than automatic cars here so it just makes it, just keeps the budget, you know, keeps the cost a little bit lower yeah. in that way too. And quickly, like, um, so if I was to buy her an automatic car and I was deployed or something and it breaks down and the stick shift's the only thing that she can drive, he has like, a stick. She, it'll be good for her to know anyway. So. True, it's just handy to have here. True. Is that what that is? Okay. Number five, there, and I know this sounds a little bit obvious, but there's literally, like, almost all the food here in Italy is Italian food. 
and Italian food is delicious and it's great and I love experiencing all of it, it can get a little bit boring after a while. You just get tired of it, you want something different. Um, and so because of that, if you know like your favorite foods, learn to cook them. Um, nobody does fast food like the States. So um, kind of find your duplicate recipes for how to make your favorite Chick-fil-A sandwich or how to make Zach's, like what I would do for some Zach's piece. He's been craving Waffle House since the day he got here. And I mean, luckily I'm a chef, so I get to fatten him up on the regular, but just learn to make your favorites. Um, they have really good Chinese here and like Korean food um, in Venice, so I'm told. But learn to learn your favorite foods because Italian food can get a little bit, I don't know, it's like oh, a harsh word no. to say. You eat it all the time, you just want something. No, you just get tired of it. It's no disrespect to Italian food though. Number six, um, and who's gonna take this one? Um, the internet speeds are not the same. So in the States, you tend to get 100, 200 megabits per second. Some people can get up to 1,000. Here, we have fiber internet, and we can only get to up to 30. So when we're watching Netflix or using like our phone and stuff like that, like it's cool, but when it's time for me to like game online, uh, you should hardwire your connection anyway, but like, you know, in the States, you don't have to worry about it. You can hardwire if you want to. Here, it's almost mandatory, or you'll have to like take devices off the internet. But that's one thing that I didn't know is that like even if it's fiber, it doesn't mean you're gonna get fast speed. Yeah, it's it's more consistent. I think fiber gives you better consistency, mm -hmm. but not necessarily like faster, and it can be a little bit inconvenient um, at times. So um, here we are on number seven, and I figured this one out the hard way. You can easily make the circuits jump in your house. I can't run my oven and my dishwasher at the same time, but I can wash clothes and run my oven at the same time, or I can have the oven going and be gaming. Um, you kind of are just gonna have to play with it in your house um, because it is tough to figure out at first. You can, in some places, up your wattage so that you don't have to deal with it as much. I think we have a pretty high wattage, which is why I can run a few things at the same time, but some things just pull too much power from the same spot. Right. Um, but it's definitely a thing, and the thing about the transformers... Um, so basically, um, TMO, or housing, is going to give you a transformer. Usually they're around 1,000 watts. Um, usually, well, we don't use ours at all because we just have Euro plugs throughout the house. We just bought everything. We just bought yeah, so like if you leave it in the thousand watt, it's gonna continuously pull, and that that'll like run up your bill. Um, and as far as upping your wattage, if you want it to, you just have to reach out to Home Fuels, and they'll be able to. Yeah. Like, up the um, and what he means when he says that it's pulling the whole time, even if your trans if your transformer is plugged in, it's pulling, and it's turned off, it is still pulling power because it is plugged in. And even if you're using something that's only 700 watts, that transformer is still going to pull a thousand watts the whole time. So once you're done with the transformer, unplug it. It'll save you a whole lot of money. Furniture. Um, furniture in Italy is beautiful. It is fashionable. It is stylish. It is not comfortable. Um, that being said, if you can, do your furniture shopping stateside. We're big people. I'm 5'8", he's 6'3". If we didn't have a king-size bed, we'd probably sleep in separate beds. Yes, yeah, sir. Because it's just not, it's just not enough space. I'm really glad we bought a mattress and a bed set before we came over here. We have a really big, super comfortable couch. Um, and it just makes a difference for comfort, you know. If you, you're going to have a house, you want to live in it and be cozy. But yeah, the furniture here, and it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's like made of real whatever it is. Like Goodness. wood, steel, whatever it is, it's it is solid. quality furniture, to say the least. The Italian um, business hours we didn't know about, yeah. number nine, sorry. Um, everything closes from 12 to about three for a lunch. They have like a super long lunch. So if there's anything that you're trying to get done or take care of, or if you want to go and get some food, more. It, it's closed so usually they're open from about like 8 or 9 to 12 and then they close until 3 and then they open again from like 3 to 6 because of COVID. Um, number 10. The last one, number 10. Also these were in no particular order. Yeah. Um, just, just how we thought of them. But number 10 is driving and cyclists. So 
Wanna take it? Uh, sure. Since so basically, drive. like they drive really fast here, and <laughs> like really, really fast. Like you'll think that you're speeding, and they'll just be going around you. And for not some even reason. just like on the autostrada, like, like on regular just regular roads. rural roads. Like they just pass you. Um, and the last thing is people cycle here, like people m motorcycle in the states. Like you might see a motorcycle club of like. I don't know, 10, 15 bikes. That's how it is here for cyclists. So, and they um, have just as much ride on the road as the cars do. You yeah. cannot honk at them. You cannot make them get off into the grass. It's not a thing. You mm -hmm. can safely pass them, but if you can't get around them, you're just chilling behind a cyclist. Yeah, so, and people walk here too, so you have to be really careful. Especially um, near roundabouts. Uh, near, exactly. Don't fly to the right. Yeah, exactly, so gonna hurt someone and someone has gotten hurt yeah please don't speak with them you have a bonus tip bonus tip no pressure no pressure no pressure no pressure no pressure uh, <sighs> cheese <Jesus Christ. laughs> <laughs> um, one last thing one last thing to tell you bring a lot to do in tlf bring a lot Good. Bring a laptop. Bring a laptop, bring a lot to do. Yeah. And if you want to know why, check out our room tips. Check out our room It's a shameless plug, don't judge us. Um, last thing really quick, uh, if you guys have any video ideas or something that you want us to like elaborate on or something you were wondering about, just shoot us an email Drop or a comment, comments. you know, and we'll make videos. We, we do a pretty good job of trying to like, reply to everybody and answer the questions as like thoroughly and thoughtfully as possible. Um, we have a video on bills coming soon. Keep it up. We're doing as much research as we can because we don't, bills are serious and we don't want to, you know, give you any misinformation on that, but we're trying to get some good tips and tricks about bills because utilities here are expensive. So be on the lookout for that. I think that is, that's it for this video. That's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on engaging with us. Tell us what you want to see. We're here for you. Like I said, we make videos about things. Nothing in particular. Mm -hmm. Just things. So you always watch because you never know what's coming next. Exactly. Well, guys, I think that's it. Me. He is going to go skydiving in Venice this summer. Hopefully, y'all be on the lookout for that because Brittany will probably be skydiving. All right. That is it. This is my little clicker. I'm like, y'all probably what is in her pocket. See well, bye, y'all.